All right, everyone. Today we're going to talk about home price appreciation. And this one, we are going to look at the three year result in this episode, including today, June of 2024, for sure, right? June of 2023, June of 2022, and June of 2021. Let's take a look at what we have. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back. So let me share with you the data that I collected. Actually, it is from the Comfort Associate, and I just want to present with you the information as of today. So in front of you right here is the media, the monthly median sale price, okay? As of today, we have June of 2024 with the median sale price of 450. Now, the reason why I like to use the number median sale price is because uh, it is more uh, like represent the sell price better than the average number, right? Which tend to be skewed by a big uh, sale or a very small scale, right? Median is just, okay, for that number, 50% of the home price is above that and 50% is below that, right? So it's, it's a very, very straightforward and it's not impacting because of some outlier. All right. So let's come back to the data right here. June of 2024 is $450,000. Obviously, you see that there's a slight dip, slight going down, right? From July or June, uh, I'm sorry, it's from, uh, I'm sorry, it's from June or May, it's go down a little bit, okay? So that is something we have to continue watching uh, for the next couple of weeks, next couple of months to see where the, where the home price is gonna go. Right today, mainly focus on the comparison between today uh, market versus uh, the previous three years. If you talk, so here is in front of you is the three home prices for three years previously: twenty twenty three four hundred forty five thousand dollars, June of twenty twenty two four hundred seventy seven thousand, and June of twenty twenty one we have four hundred thousand dollars. So overall, we see that for the last compared to the three years period twenty twenty one, the home price already appreciated. 12.5%, okay? So if you, right there in during COVID time, if you look at that back, to, back then, you're gonna see that home price, if you bought a house in 2021, your home price could probably already increase about 12%, 12, 12%, okay? In June of 2022, however, there's a very big correction happening at the, at the second half of June, right? And therefore, home price since then already dropped 5.66%. Obviously, you see here is, is a big drop, and then it is already back up. But if you compare, it's already back up as you see here, June of 2023 compared to today, it's only increased about 1.12 percent. Okay, so so that is the overall what we see so far is a comparison between the home price, the median sale price as of today compared to the previous three years. The most alarming, and if we are looking at the next data I want to show you, okay, you're going to see the overall median sold price of uh, the entire Phoenix metro area, right? It's a, it's a heat map of all the area. And if you look at the most expensive area is probably around Fountain Hills, uh, around North Scottsdale, and the most, most, most expensive of course, Paradise Valley, right? All over $3 million. For some of you might be concerning about the affordability and looking for some better, uh, lower cost, right? Then you're looking probably around like $200,000, $300,000 or $300,000, $400,000. In that situation, you may be looking at El Mirage, Youngtown here. Be careful though, most of this area right here is for the 55 plus community. And therefore it may be challenging for a younger uh, younger person to, um, to, to acquire property in this area. Okay, uh, or maybe we can look at some Coolidge, some a lot, uh, maybe around um, a little bit further away. Okay, or maybe in in South Channel, very South of Chandler, close to Maricopa City, then you're gonna be able to find a more affordable, a more affordable house around like four. I'm sorry, about three or four hundred thousand dollars right here. Levine is also one of the. Uh, right, this part of Levine, okay, uh, is probably one one of the uh, good area to look at as well because it's, it's 
this is under development uh, a lot of development activities over here and also surprise is also something that you want to consider also right so those are based on this heat map right here i just want to point out to you the location the area where you may be able to find more affordable house of course different people have a different situation obviously you see here in the middle of the phoenix here right it's much lower price than the area that i pointed out but some people but if you're familiar with the area that area seems to be not the best neighborhood right so if you're comfortable with with that uh, with the crowded with the um, uh, housing situation in those areas definitely looking at this location as well right uh, but if you prefer a newer house uh, a better neighbor a newer neighborhood right then maybe focus on the, some some of the outskirt area because otherwise you're gonna stop with let's say you see gilbert or chandler or you, is the home price is already really high like five to six hundred already right um maybe even here this part of chandler is around 400 to 500 which is also a little bit less affordable than the other the other area that i mentioned above right that is uh, all I want to share with you for this today as for the uh, suggestion for the investor buyers and investor seller I think it's still going to be remaining the same suggestion for the investor negotiation negotiation and negotiation is a key right I know in real estate is location is more important but for investor buyer don't be discouraged because of home price still high right now compared to previous year compared to previous three years right it, uh, but rather as you see the trending the the short-term trend is going down so we should take more advantage let's see here let me go back all right it's it's, it's trending down it's in the short-term period it's trending down and therefore this is best time for for the the investor buyer to go in and take the negotiation and get the price get the price that you can get cash flow and appreciate uh, appreciation later as for the investor seller be very careful about listing the home price too high i know that as the investor you always want the highest profit the best right but sometimes you have to be more reasonable especially this time about the profit that you can get willing to sacrifice a small portion of profit will eventually bring you more benefit right because you are able to sell the house right uh, rather than stuck in with the house for a couple of months and then there's more costs associated with that as well especially if you do the hard money loan it's going to be a lot of cost for you all right thank you so much everyone for watching and i hope that you find everything uh, all the good information in this video if you do have any question or um suggestion for the show feel free to contact me my number is 480 480 7948 thank you bye, -bye.